Okay guys, so I'm going to attempt to strip down this Vupu Doric 60 because the connection between this and the pins underneath is terrible, frankly. Apparently it's a common problem. Uh, this is not mine, this is this is my partner's. She got a new one. Because um, she was sick of having a twist this around to try and get it to connect so she could actually toke on it and I wasn't confident that I could put it apart and actually get it working again afterwards basically you cannot get that ring off I'm pretty sure that this piece on top either unscrews and is incredibly tight I have tried heating it up to unscrew it that's hence all the marks around the edge or I think more likely it's two pieces because obviously this ring had to go on somehow I think that there was two pieces or uh, maybe three pieces that they put together and then welded and then machined to make it look like it's one piece. But again, I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to get it apart and get it back together without breaking it. My plan today is to centre punch above these four screws and then drill through, get a screwdriver in there and undo them. Okay, well, that's my first mess up. Just do the best we can. Hey, well, as you can see, that actually does come out. <laughs> I tried prizing that out last time. I was down there and that would not move for shit. So you can get it out. I'm assuming that black piece there is just a guide pin to make sure you get it in the right way around. Oh, that is interference fit with a bit of glue on there by the look of it. It's glued in around the edge. I've certainly made this so that you <laughs> it's very difficult to get apart. They are quite cheap, so my partner's new one is um, straight out of the box. It doesn't quite have the um, connection issues that this one does, but it's certainly isn't absolutely perfect. There must be better ones made out there. It's turned off but it's not discharged so this might go horribly. It's clearly glued in all around the edges. Aha! Okay, so that's the bar, and that looks like it's intact, but I've clearly broken something there. What was it? Ah. Oh, it looks like that's just a piece of rubber. So that's probably what holds it in tight and stops it from robbing it, uh, wobbling about in place. I haven't buggered the electrode up, thankfully. Okay, looks like there's two tiny cross heads 
push those screws on either side of the circuit board so we'll try undoing that okay so that is a uh, crosshead size zero 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 so that's a crosshead four zero size If you're going to do this yourselves, I'd probably suggest you completely try and discharge the battery first. I haven't done that. But to be fair, I'm used to getting shocks off mains voltage. Okay. The problem I've got is with the pins themselves. They're not poking up far enough. And I thought I'd better strip those out. But there's another circuit board behind with at least two screws in assuming that other circuit board is just for charging at least the screws come out nice and easy I think that those two pins have to come out first. Do they go in from the bottom or the top? Oh god, yeah, they go in that way. Which means they need unsoldering. Now, it'd probably be a good idea to desolder the power connections to this, but I'm nothing but lazy, so. Jesus Christ, just gets fiddlier and fiddlier. I don't know whether you can see that, but where my fingernail is catching there, there's a little lid on that. So, my assumption is, is that lid comes off, spring and pin inside, and that's it, probably. So, the question is how to get that little lid off. Oh, <laughs> that fucking busted it. That would probably work better, because it's sharper. because the screwdriver is just slipping off. Ah, oh, there we go, I think that moved. Yep, it did. You'd probably be better off trying to find these pins somewhere I don't know whether or not they're going anything else I mean if they're specially made through the Vupu you're probably screwed and of course this doesn't even address the uh, what another user commented about the airflow sensor it's pretty mashed at this point I shall persevere. Well, it looks like that's a sleeve within a sleeve, so obviously me holding onto that is crushing it down upon it. So let's get a pair of pliers. At this point, it's plucked anyway. Too. There we go. There's a minute plastic ball bearing in there. I expect it's there to ease the movement of it somehow, but this is the inside of it. Now, what I assume has happened is that a little bit of vape juice has got down onto this pin and inside this mechanism. I can't, I, to be honest, it looks pretty clean to me. But it doesn't take much to screw up an electrical contact. I mean, you can see the top there. Well, you might not be able to see it. I can see it anyway, at least. The top there looks scuffed up. And then that could be what I've been doing. But it, it was pretty caked in vape juice when I 
call it off the misses. Now the, the pin itself doesn't look particularly clean either. If you can take it apart and clean it up without completely mashing it up and then get it back together again <laughs> then you can fix it. I mean this has taken me 45 minutes to an hour to get this far and I expect putting it back together in some sort of shape where you can actually use it still is going to take me a minimum of an hour or two and there's no guarantee that when I get it back together it's going to work because you've seen the destruction I've had to reek upon it I mean, I think if you were a watchmaker or something you'd have a much better chance than me because you'd probably have the right tools for it but I think anybody normal is not going to have the right tools in other words I think these cost about 25-30 quid so just buy a new one um, but if anyone does get it apart and get it back together I'd be send me the link to the video so I can have a look and like I say, if you can if you if you can get replacement pins for this, like this 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 entire mechanism, might be worth it. You could probably do it again, though. It's it's probably not going to look very nice afterwards. So again, if you don't give a shit about that, fine. I certainly wouldn't. But I'm assuming my partner would. Anyway, I hope that's helpful to somebody. At least we know now that it's not, well we knew it wasn't designed to be taken apart, but at least we know now that it's probably just not worth the aggro for the 25 quid, 25, 30 quid, whatever it costs to buy a new one. But my advice would probably be choose a different um, make and model. Like as I say, the partner's got a new one of these Vipu 60s and it's doing the same thing. I mean it basically did the same, a similar thing out of the box. It wasn't as bad as this, but I'm assuming after she's refilled it a couple of times and she's spilt more vape juice inside, which is not her fault, the, the, the tops leak on these, so there's not much you can do about it. Um, it's going to be the same state and she'll be paying another 25-30 quid for it. Anyway, cheers.